pieces. So I would do new item evaluation every month. And I would go through and I'd say, okay, and this is how kind of tight we ran our system. Because we had, our goal was the 1.7 SKUs per square foot. So she knew how many, like especially with jewelry, she knew how many necklaces she could have in the display, how many bracelets, how many earrings. And so when I did the new item evaluation, I would give her a report and say, this is how many bracelets, this is how many necklaces, this is how many, you know, item from the kids sections, this is how many books didn't make the cut. And then she had file folders for by department and by vendor. And so she would literally go and pull like Minga jewelry. And then she would look through and she had taken a catalog or from the website and printed out or tore out and marked all the items that she wanted to buy. So like that level of restraint, because you know, again, like the art part is like, you know, these new catalogs come and they're like, oh, that, I'm gonna get that, that, and that, and then all of a sudden you've got 6,000 SKUs. Because you just keep buying and keep buying and keep buying because it's fun. But she, you know, it was literally so tight that like I would tell her how many items she could buy and from what departments. Number of and and even like dollar wise, like here's your budget. You know, that's getting into like an open to buy. Like literally, how much cash do you have to spend per month on new products? 